welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. You're probably wondering, what's up with the flowers? Where is he? Well, I'm actually filming in my living room today because I'm going to try to build this. Okay, so here we go. This is the product. And maybe it's nice to give you a little bit of, um, you know, background info while I'm opening this. Let's have a look. So it's from a company called MTech Cave. It's a hobby store in the States. And um, they actually needed, what's the best way to open this, man? Um, they actually needed a good way to store their own magic cards. And so they started to make their own with a laser cutter. And um, they thought, hey, this is a really good product. And then they started a Kickstarter campaign to see if they could produce more and in, on a more professional level. And guess what? The Kickstarter was a huge success. And uh, that's actually where I'm coming in. Well, Mika, uh, one of the owners of the company, sent me a mail and said, you know, can I send you some samples so you can show to your viewers? And I said, yeah, of course. something else in here you see it's always good to kind of go through it I don't know if, if we need this but it's gonna put it put it aside so that's good so this is pack number one and here we go this is the second pack the big pack so uh, I guess together it makes uh, a big magic box. Let's see where to open this. Oh, look at this. We got the logo. And an assembling video, that is super handy. I really need that assembly video probably. Okay, just, I was just tossing away. Wow, I like this. So this probably should have started with this pack. Look at this, wow. Here we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a look at the assembly video and then I'll be right, right back to see if I can, uh, I can build it for you guys. So the assembly video is checked and the first thing I notice is that I need, uh, need it, some wood glue. So I got some wood glue. And I, so you do need that if you wanna make this. Just a heads up, the instruction video is very clear by the way. So I'm just gonna follow the steps in the video, probably gonna speed the video up a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is really a do-it-yourself video, isn't it? So we've got these. These are the um, drawers, kind of the dividers for in the drawer itself. this side on the outside so I'm gonna put this on the inside the redwood yeah. look at this we got to click this together whoop, whoop. Thank you. 
So this is, it's hard to see on the, on the camera, but this is basically what you want. Let me just quickly show you. So this is the first part, right? You want to set it up like this, and now you want to start putting the glue on. Okay, so I've put everything together. I checked the video again, because this is the important part. We're gonna put the wood glue on. Together. There we go. Click it together. You want to do that here as well. Click this all together really well. I'm going to put this on the top. Let's have a look. So we got to put it like this on the top. So now that we've made the outside, we're actually going to make the tray that's going in there. Um, so yeah, let's let's go. This is part two. Um, so we got to move this around because we want to have this on the outside. So we're going to put, I guess, the red colored wood on the inside here. Uh, that's my choice. You can obviously do something else if you want to. these panels in. Let's have a look here. Think like this. Let me 
sure I'm not doing as much as the first one because that was I went a little bit overboard on that one. But I have to say it's kind of idiot proof built because even though I'm, I'm, I'm far from like your do it yourself kind of guy, it seems to be going okay. Famous last words perhaps. Nice, so this fits really well. That's, this is a good feeling when things click and actually link together. Sweet. Oh man, don't do this to me. Yes. Okay, just gonna grab some paper towel to get rid of some excess. Ooh. this can you guys see that no you can't okay let me show you this is gonna go in here okay wow yeah there we go now it fits let's wipe away some of the glue Fits, this is great, it fits. Yeah, feeling good, man. It fit. It's really cool, actually, look at that. It's really neat. I still have these though, so I gotta do something with these, I guess. Yeah, this. I gotta put a little bit of glue on here on the sides. Wow, I've never used this much wood glue in my life. And then we're gonna slide. Yeah, so this fits. There we go. <laughs> Now again, I'm just gonna say this again, I'm really bad at this stuff. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with my myself. Um, so I'm sure, I mean, if you're looking at this at home and think it looks so complicated, really don't worry. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. Assemble, there's one last thing I need to do, which is apply the felt. 
it shouldn't be too difficult, right? <laughs> Look at that. Again, pretty happy with myself. Okay, so now we've got the handle. Man, I'm, glue is all over, but anyway, we got the handle. So the handle I gotta put here, so I gotta make some space. I gotta put the handle like this. Oop, stay there. I gotta snap it in space there. Did you hear that? A click, that's what you wanna go for. And then of course we still have these um which can go in here it's really cool um you know what i'm, I'm gonna show you too why not we're in too deep now So here we got the entire tray. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, give it some time to dry and then I could put everything together and I'll get back to you. Okay, the moment of truth. So I gave these uh, about half an hour to dry and now I'm gonna uh, take these off if I can, if I manage. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna take these off. There we go. It feels really solid, by the way. It feels really good. Um, so this goes, then I have the other one, remember? So this one had a lot of drying time. So it should be all good. I'm going to assemble. Let's see, exciting stuff. Whoa, bam. That's it, so this is the tray. And here we see it as a whole now. I'm not gonna keep it here on my desk. I gotta find the right spot for it still, to be honest. But I wanna show you this because I'm filling it up at the moment, trying to get my camera here safe so I can show it to you guys. So I'm filling it up. So if you open it up here, whoop, you can actually, I'm just gonna show you, you can put so much in here. Like this is only a third of the tray, quarter perhaps, like here I got, a huge chunk of the dark cards so that's this section i've got a little bit of chronicle stuff here i've got an old deck of mine unsleeved here revised deck um and these kind of fit in perfectly these ultra pro they're pretty like shabby deck boxes but they're i got some simple sleeved up decks in there but look they fit they fit perfectly it's um as if it's made for that size it's really nice oh and i just want to show you how it closes as well so here you can see whoop, open close open it's very sturdy it's yeah it's a really good box so um a big shout out to uh, m tech cave thank you mika for showing this uh and sending it to me it's been a lot of fun to build it now in the description below there's a link to the professional how to do it yourself building video that i actually used to assemble the pieces so uh that is is really my tip for you don't use my video to build it. But if you're not enthusiastic about this product, check out MTech Cave. And again, links are all in the description below. So check that out and, uh, and visit it. <laughs> What's it say? Well, it says, I love it when a plan comes together.